Okay. I'm in IT, okay. so I've been at the same company for like 20 years, so now oh, I finally yeah. got some so you did decent this, vacation. You did this 20 years ago? No, no, no. I did this uh, in 2016, in 20, five years ago, oh, it yeah. It wasn't that long ago. No, it wasn't that long ago. I thought maybe you were a kid when you did Oh, no. I took like four weeks off of work. I saved up all my vacation time, uh -huh. and uh, we, I went to... Uh, down to Denver and then my buddy came out on the train and then we rode another week into the Rockies oh, wow. and made it all the way to uh, Grand Junction Grand Junction which is like near Moab in Utah it's like 80 miles from the border oh it was beautiful yeah so I'll probably see Dale sometime today I'll say did you see Brian? <laughs> <laughs> don't look at me funny well yes I did yeah <laughs> Yeah, I met a guy in Missouri Valley, Iowa. When I stayed there, he stopped by and talked to me for a bit. He does, he's been doing rag bri for like 30 years in a row. Oh, yeah. Are they having it this year? Uh, I think so, yeah. He said, it, yeah, starts in a week or something. Have you done that? I've never done it. My dad's done it, but kind of wanted to, but it's kind of, I know it's just really a big party. Well, that's why my wife doesn't want to do it. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I just like the experience of yeah, just to say you went and did it. Uh, he said he gets a lot of people because that stop or that campground in town is on the Lewis and Clark Trail. Uh-huh. Crazy, crazy wind damage from those storms. Just snapped these telephone poles in half. So really cool, I, I was camping last night in the, uh, I forgot the name of the park, uh, on the south side of uh, Grand Island there, and uh, the campground host is actually uh, an avid cyclist, he's, I guess he's just uh, going to be turning 80 or something, he's got a carbon fiber trike, but he was, talked to him for a while, he's pretty cool, and then uh, this morning I was at the uh, restroom and uh, there's a bike path by there and a guy pulled up saying that uh, He's a warm showers host. I, I'm, unfortunately, his name escapes me right now. Uh, but really, super nice gentleman. Uh, we rode. He showed me how to get back to 30, and we rode and chatted for a bit. So we rode and chatted for, uh, you know, a couple miles. Uh, very nice guy. So that was cool. A lot of cycling folks in uh, 
in Grand Island. So very neat. That's crazy. These poles are still all the way down here are torn down too. Just snapped in half. So I stayed at uh, George H. Uh, Clayton Campground in, on the south side of uh, Grand Island. Uh, really nice uh, campground there. Uh, electric sites were 20 bucks, whatever. I didn't mind paying for it. They had uh, do have bathrooms and showers and water, uh, but you have to pay uh, quarters for the shower. But I don't know. I didn't. There's one shower. I didn't uh, didn't partake in it. But uh, yeah. There's another group of cyclists. Howdy. It's the second group I've seen. Maybe they're, I don't know what ride they're on or they're training or something. So I just left Kearney, Nebraska, uh, charged the batteries there a bit, and uh, got a Euro. Uh, the Euro was more like a burrito. It was really good. It was a uh, homemade pita. It was a homemade pita, but it had lettuce and cheese on it. It had tzatziki too, but... I'm used to just onions and I'm used to onions and tomatoes and tzatziki on the gyro. Not cheese and lettuce, but it was good. It was different. Um, gonna try and make North Platte, uh, which is 90 miles from Kearney. So it'll be like a 130 mile day. Um, yeah, so uh, just truck along. It's a beautiful day. like in the 70s not not too windy roads been good too Getting into the Sand Hills area, uh, just outside of North Platte. So got about maybe eight miles. Eight miles left for the day. That put me right at a little over 140 miles today. So it's been a long one.